He's famous for his internationally known impressions of a wide range of people from Aaron Neville, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Casey Kasem, Dr. Phil, and everything you can possibly imagine in between. Comedian Pablo Francisco has oh been- Oh my God. <laughs> there he is. I'm darkness, he's all dark. You come and see Thor, yes, Thor, made for television. Hello, yes, I talked to the enemy. He's my brother, yes, we talked with each other. We're friends, and he kills people. Yes, Thor, it's a, it's, and Wolverine has problems. I have issues, what's the deal? So what you need to do is look yourself in the face right there in the mirror and punch yourself right there. That's what you need to do. That's your Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's uh, my uh, favorite that you do. I like Dr. Phil, you know. What you need to do is, you know, my wife is sleeping with a cocaine dealer. Well, I got news for you. They're not sleeping, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize that you had the uncanny ability to imitate these people? Uh, you know, it's just it starts off making fun of your par your like your neighbor's parents, you know. Oh, that, how'd that go over? Yeah, to their faces. Good. Yeah, well, not to their faces, to the you know, their, <laughs> it'd be it'd be, it'd be you know you know friends against friends. You know, we make fun of their moms and they make fun of my mom, and after a while, it just starts turning into uh, you know. You know, Kermit the Frog kind of things, you know. <laughs> yeah, your mom has sex with Kermit the Frog. Hey, hey, I don't get it. Hey, ah. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Have you ever met one of the celebrities that you do an impression of who was really offended by it? I uh, met uh, Aaron Neville. He was kind of pissed off, you know. He walked off his bus, and I go, I go, because he had a tattoo on his face, and I went, You got the tattoo. You <laughs> got tattoo on his face. <laughs> and uh, he kind of, he was like, hey, he stops at Baby Gap, because he, uh -huh. You know, so went, but I don't know how I love you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sings like a radio station. <laughs> 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 Who's your favorite person to do? Mark Wahlberg. Hey, man. Oh, no. You doing good? Huh? You doing good? He's in every movie. Now he's doing elementary school announcements. Oh, What's no. going on there, Corbett Elementary? Huh? You doing good? You doing good? <laughs> Salisbury steak, macaroni cheese. He's everywhere. He's in you. He's in me. Hey, what about my tortillas? How about a wall burger? Come on. <laughs> he cooks food. And, wait, you're a human beatbox. Human beatbox. I go boxing and I go. Is that a box? And I'm, uh -huh. I'm beating him. Get it? You know, I can sometimes beatbox. Ah, I'll get him. <laughs> yeah, I kind of beatbox. You're going to have to do the heartbeat. Someone's playing a deadly game. Oh my gosh. Well, that's me. It's my heart. I'm sorry. That's my heart. Sorry. About that. I thought I heard that. Well, anyhow. Time, Time out. out. Time out. What on earth were you like as a kid? Were your I mean, your parents must have gotten white hair within like a year of you being born. Uh, and I was, how do they even discipline you? Because you're up beatboxing and impersonating them. I have ADD, EFG, HIJK, elementary. <laughs> I have positive ADD, so it's, uh, I'm trying to always figure out problems. But uh, yeah, I think like in the morning times, I'm kind of like mellow. But uh -huh. but it's a good thing. I think everybody, if people say, "Hey, I'm ADD." It's good that you're ADD because you don't want to you don't want to you know pay attention to the stuff that is boring. You know. I and don't believe you're mellow. You know, mellow. I cannot imagine Wait, you're mellow. What are you talking about, huh? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? You listen to me, all right? I'm getting older now, so instead of I'll be back, it's I'll my back. Uh. But then, yeah. <laughs> <That's so true. laughs> How do you do, okay, do, when you're doing, when you're on stage, do you also do current events or do you stick to impersonating people and just filleting them and then doing your human beatbox in between? Well, you know, the thing is I, uh, I make fun of everything, you know, just like, uh, you know, reality shows, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's so much reality in reality shows. There's, I mean, like right. Storage Wars, come on, you know, people are going to watch that. I got to watch at least two episodes, but Storage Wars, you can have your own Storage Wars. Just have a yard sale and have your friend on cocaine auction off everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, it, get Storage Wars, there you go. Or Con Pawn Shop, you know, the pawn uh -huh. shop guy. Uh -huh. Hey man, where'd you do that? He goes, I got to talk to my buddy real quick. Let me get my buddy to look at your stuff. And he turns around and puts on a mustache. Uh -huh. it's, not, it's not good. So yeah, we make some fun of uh, some current events and uh, uh -huh. we make fun of uh, my ourselves and we make fun of everybody else and uh, you're in good hands with all states. So oh. there you go. So you went, uh, uh, th that's uh, the guy, 24 guy. 24. Are you in good yeah. hands? Maybe you're Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner, who got an agenda bender. That's Pablo right. Francisco, performing tonight through Sunday at Kansas City Improv in Zona Rosa. We're back after this. You